Multiple termination. Buck wasn't terminated, he still has his job. It's our position that Firefighter Buckley, while not technically fired, has been constructively terminated from all components of firefighting duty, a de facto firing, which is a direct result of a pattern of discriminatory and unequal treatment on the part of Captain Nash. Unequal treatment? I don't treat Buck any differently than I do any other firefighter under my watch. Really? Really. See, I was hit from behind with the construction truck and the rebar entered the back of my skull, went right through my brain and exited my forehead. See that little scar? Yeah. That's all I ended up with. It's miraculous. And how long did it take before you returned to work? Uh, several weeks. No, you know what, it was more closer to a month. I'm a quick healer, evidently. Evidently. And your more recent medical trauma? after you were stabbed repeatedly by your girlfriend's ex-husband? How long before you were back with the 118? That was also about a month. Hmm. So it's fair to say Captain Nash has followed a pattern of allowing firefighters with serious injuries back after less than a month. No, I don't think it is fair to say. Every patient is different. Every injury is different. The blood thinners that Buck has to take right now makes it very dangerous for him to be in the field. Tell me, do you recognize this brochure? Yes. Can you tell us what it is? It's a commercial brochure for anticoagulant blood thinner medication. Medications that you yourself sold in your former career as a pharmaceutical rep, is that right? Yes. And in your sales pitch to your doctor clients, was it your contention that these medications would allow patients to resume their normal lives? I was a sales rep, not a doctor. But you were a field medic. It doesn't qualify me to comment on Buck's medical status does make me understand the chain of command. And if Cap says he's not ready, he's not ready. Were you ready, Firefighter Diaz, to return to work after your wife's death? That's my business. It's also your captain's business. He never suggested you take some time, see a counselor? He wasn't there at the time. Because he'd been suspended. Captain Nash's suspension was adjudicated. I don't see how it is relevant to this procedure. It's relevant because it illustrates how everyone, except Mr. Buckley, is allowed to return to the job no matter the injury or infraction. Buck has a chronic medical condition. And what about your own chronic medical condition, Captain Nash? I believe the National Institute of Health classifies alcoholism as a chronic brain disease. I'm clean and sober. You are now, and you were before. But isn't it true that just about a year and a half ago, you did have a relapse? I did. After the Liberty jet crash, I drank. I was not on duty. But it was you and Mr. Buckley who found Bobby passed out in his apartment. Yes. That happened. I did not know about that. That was before I got here. You asked my client for his help that day. That's exactly what he did. Without hesitation, he helped you get sobered up, and then you returned to your full duties as captain of the 118. Yes, that's all true. So isn't the only difference between your off-duty relapse and Mr. Buckley's is that he actually did everything in his power to help you return to your job? 